Hey guys! So, <clears throat> I was thinking about what video I should do next, and I realized that I've never done um, a favorite face products video, and I also have never mentioned the foundation that I use. So I've talked about some face products, but I wanted to um, do a video on what, you know, facial scrubs, moisturizers, um, and foundations, concealers, are at the drugstore that are good quality and relatively cheap and I've found a lot of things because I use moisturizer every day so I've been using moisturizers from Walmart or the drugstore um, ever since I was a teenager because when you use something every single day you can't afford to go get a high-end product anyway so um, I do have a lot of experience with face products from the drugstore um, I'm gonna try to be quick because I have a lot of products to talk about so the first one is my foundation. These are all going to be kind of dirty because they get stuff all over them and I don't really clean my packaging because I'm going to end up throwing it away so it doesn't make sense to me. But This is the foundation that I swear by. It's the L'Oreal True Match Luminous. It says Lumi on it but I think it's kind of gone now. <laughs> but um, I'm in love with this foundation because I'm not a big fan of foundation and I don't like for things to feel really heavy and cakey. And this is, it's a liquid and it's lightweight, but it still covers. So, I don't know. I've never, I've never really had a foundation that I loved. And so this is the thing that really got me into like wearing a foundation every single day. So, um, I think it's a good coverage, but it's still light enough that it is not going to look cakey. And then the Lumi is the best part because it, it I don't know if you have been able to tell in my videos, but I'm usually wearing it every day and my skin just has this natural like luminous look and that's just from this foundation. Um, I've tried several others and nothing really gave me that glow. So I really like a glow because I just think it looks healthy and pretty and moisturized. So yeah, if you like a dewy finish or a glow, you should try the True Match Lumi. I will say I've also tried the regular True Match and it's really good too. I just prefer the Lumi. But they have a million shades. They have like warm shades, neutral shades, and cool shades. So I found my match was a neutral shade. And you, some of the drugstores have something where you can put your hand under it to figure out your color. And I'm in soft ivory. So I love that foundation. I don't even want to try any other foundations. I just want to stick with that one because I love it so much. This is gross. And... <laughs> I've had this thing for a while, but you can get these vitamin E skincare creams um, from Walmart, or I get them at Dollar General in like a two-pack, and they're really cheap, <clears throat> and it's decent cream, but it's I don't feel like it's good enough for to use as the only moisturizer I use. But the point is, the reason I have this is because what I'll do is I'll use these jars, I'll get like halfway through here, and or sometimes I'll even scoop out some of the cream, and I'll mix in here my any little face product samples that I get in a Birchbox or an Ipsy or from Sephora or like if I have like a face primer that I'm not really using every day but I want to use it up or something and this is going to sound ridiculous but I mix it in here um, and so I can show you what it looks like but basically I use this as a primer every day because it has like a sunscreen in it it has like all kinds of just different primers, BB creams, CC creams that I will get in samples and that way I can use them up. And so I'll use this as a primer. It's really runny. <laughs> but I know that's a weird thing but I feel like a mad scientist like mixing it all up and it's not a bad consistency and it does, it actually gives a little bit of coverage but I just feel like it, it evens out my skin before I put on my foundation and then it keeps my foundation on. So I have like several pumps of like the e.l.f. face primer in here, um, like I said BB cream, CC creams, some moisturizer, and so this is also something I could just use as a tinted moisturizer. So um, it's the reason I like to do this is because it helps me to get use out of some of those face samples that I feel like are so small that I can't do anything with them. Um, I mean I won't, I wouldn't put anything here that's not a face product. You know, I'm not going to put like face wash in here, obviously. But I don't know. I just thought it was a fun idea and I've been doing this for several months and I just like it. So, I don't know. It might seem ridiculous, but that's just an idea. If you have like a foundation and some moisturizer, you can mix it up and make a tinted moisturizer out of it. 
Um, I've talked about this before. It's the CoverGirl in Olay. Um, I use it for an under eye concealer. It's pretty moisturizing. It goes on really well and I really like it and I carry it around in my purse so that if I get some fallout or something during the day or dark circles I can just cover. So um, that's drugstore. Um, this is the Dream Lumi, the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Pen. I don't know if it's upside down. It's like an under eye concealer but it has like a luminous quality to it so it kind of brightens up your under eyes and I like to do this um, like I'll do this after I do my makeup as kind of like a, a highlighter like right through here um, so yeah I really like it. it it has coverage but it still has a little bit of like glow to it so um, I think that's all of my products as far as like makeup face things that I use um, for a moisturizer this is something I've been using for probably six, seven years. The St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. It's huge. You get so much in here. And it's really good. Like, my favorite face moisturizer is the Burt's Bees Radiant one. But it's $17 and the jar's this big. And I just can't justify spending that much on something that's going to be gone in a month or two. This thing is so huge and so cheap and it's good. Like, I genuinely feel like it's a good moisturizer. I wouldn't say that it is, like, the most luxurious, best moisturizer you can find. But for the money, if you want a moisturizer that's, like, you're going to use every day that's going to last. And it does have collagen elastin in it. And I know that Dr. Oz has talked about this on his show, so it's gotten more popular. But I can tell you I've used it for several years off and on. You know, if I do happen to get a nice moisturizer, like, in a sample or something, I might stop using this. But I always go back to it. And I think it's probably under $5. I mean, for a huge thing like this, you could make this last for six months to a year, depending on how much you use it. So, I don't know. I think it's a really good moisturizer, and I think it's silly to spend any more than you have to for something you use every day. I even sometimes will put this on my hands if they're dry. So, it's really good. I love that guy. Um, tea tree oil is something I like to keep around. You can look up the many, many uses of tea tree oil. But uh, for face, I like to put it on breakouts um, because whatever is in tea tree oil is really good for drying out bacteria and I think it's antibacterial. It says it's a natural skin aid. Um, it's been used as a topical agent for skin. I know you can use it on bug bites, but <clears throat> people might, like I've heard people say it could be too strong to just use, but I use like, it's never irritated my skin in any way. All it does is it just like zaps zits or anything that comes up. So I use it as like a topical spot treatment. It's really strong smell, but also it's good for helping keep lice away and bugs away. And I know that because I'm a mom. So you can find this at Walmart now, I think. And I think this one is from Walmart. It looks like the Walmart brand. So you can find it just about anywhere for pretty cheap. Um, this thing's like three or four dollars, the mint julep mask. They usually have it at Walmart for the cheapest price. Um, it's amazing. It's it says helps dry up acne pimples, rinse away blackheads, <clears throat> and shrink enlarged pores. I like to put it on my nose at night sometimes just when I get home because that's where I have big pores and they get clogged from all the makeups that I use. So I'll put this on my nose and then wash it off, you know, even several hours later. You can leave it on. It doesn't do anything bad. Or I will if I have like a big zit coming up. Sometimes I'll put it on as a spot treatment. It is green and it gets dry, but you can kind of feel it drying out impurities. Um, so yeah, I really like this because it's simple and easy and cheap. And I've had this thing, if you can see, there's a ton in here. It's really heavy. I've had this thing for so long because I don't, like probably like a year because I don't, I really just use it on my nose or like spot treatment. I don't use it all over my face because I don't have, um, zits all over my face. So I don't want to dry out my face. Okay. This is my favorite facial scrub. It's the Blemish Control Green Tea Scrub, also by St. Ives. They're such a good brand. They're all natural. They have really good um, body washes that smell really good and are really moisturizing, and they have really good lotions. So don't be afraid of St. Ives because it's cheap, because they're amazing. They say it's 100% paraben-free, naturally derived exfoliants. 
yeah it has salicylic acid in it I love this thing it's green and it smells so good oh it's wet that's gross but see if I can get some out come on come on there it goes anyway it smells so good and it has very small fine little particles in it so when it exfoliates I can tell it's really working because if the particles are too big it seems like it's not really getting in all the pores so I just feel like it really really does kind of keep my skin clear and get off any dead skin and I love this um I didn't find it at Walmart I had to find it at Walgreens so it's a little pricier at Walgreens but I think it's worth it for a face scrub um and by pricey I mean like five dollars or something it's not super expensive um, if you want to know why this is the best thing in the world, watch my coconut oil video. But this is my night cream. I put this on every single night. Um, sometimes if I have time to let it soak into my skin, I'll put it on my face when I get out of the shower too. I use this as spot treatment if I get any cystic acne or just in general if I have acne. Like I might put on some tea tree oil and then go over it with the coconut oil just for like soothing. But it's the answer to my skin problems. I don't know if that's true for everyone, but I know that it has completely cleared up my cystic hormonal acne. So coconut oil is awesome and I love it. You can find it just about anywhere now and get the organic unrefined. And um, I will say that I just got this from my friend Jenna. She gave it to me while I, when I went to visit her, but it's a plant stem cells for cellular rejuvenation skin renewal clay mask. And I really like this. I used this um, a couple times and it's made my skin feel really soft and like almost more glowy. So whatever is in it, it says it tightens and reduces pores, absorbs dirt and impurities, and restores youthful texture. And this is another thing that sometimes I'll just put it on my nose, but it's a clay mask. And clay is supposed to be really good for drawing out impurities. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is really good. I'm pretty sure you can find this at like a Whole Foods or a natural food store. Um, yeah, the brand is Eclos. I don't know how much it costs because it was given to me, but I'm pretty sure it's probably, you know, under $10 hopefully. So yeah, those are all my favorite skin products. Um, if there's any videos that you want me to do, if you're wondering what kind of something that I use, um, or if you're looking for a good insert here, um, you can always suggest or ask like, hey, can you do a video on your favorite this or that? Um, I might do a video on fashion as far as where I shop to get cute stuff for cheapish. Um, I might do a video about Goodwill soon so I don't know I'm trying to keep um, ideas going but since I don't do a lot of shopping and spending um, I don't have constant you know new products to review but um, I will do an August favorites coming up soon and yeah I hope you liked all of my recommendations I hope you guys will check those out and hope they were helpful and also I got 10 subscribers now and last week I had seven so I'm super excited um, that might seem silly, but it uh, makes me happy that people want to watch my videos and that I might be able to help suggest things to people. So, okay, that's all. I love you guys. Bye.